This is the air compressor at the Four Mile Station. That green pipe is compressed air that goes down to operate those big pneumatic valves. But this small pipe goes up, over, and down into the control cabinet. Now you might think that the computer is operating this station, but it's not. That gray box is operating this station. This computer is just a window into it. It's a SLC5 programmable logic controller. It's in control. There's a bunch of terminals mostly used for testing. A relay bank. That's the flow meter readout. The red things are pressure switches. The little silver things are pressure switches. But this air compressor line comes in down here, comes up through a pressure, a moisture separator and a pressure reducer and a valve, another pressure reducer, an air flow controller so that we're getting one cubic foot per hour, and a transducer. It can tell, it can tell, after you calibrate it, what the level of the sewage is by how much back pressure there is on the bubbler tube. The bubbler tube is nothing more than a half inch pipe sticking into the sewage. And the more sewage there is, the harder time, the, air, the, the bigger the air pressure has to build up to get through it. That level indicating transducer, which right now says 66 inches, sends a signal to that controller, and that controller speeds up or slows down motors so that they stay running as long as possible. If that controller fails, we have a second controller here. That's the simplified version of that's the level, and we're at level, but this one is not being used, it's just ready. We have to switch over to it if we want to. If the controller fails and we're not here to switch over to this one, the level goes up and these pressure switches start turning on pumps, these silver ones. These two pressure switches operate this. If the pressure switches fail, if the pressure air pressure system fails, if the controller fails and everything else fails, there is a float ball connected to a timer. When the flow ball tips up, a pump starts. When the flow ball tips down, the timer counts five more minutes and then shuts the pump off. Of course, that is uh, sending alarms like crazy every time it does. We want to get that remedied right away. All these indicate a different types of alarms. That's part of the alarm dialer that calls us and tells us things are wrong. This indicates valve 2 is open and pump 2 is running. That, of course, is our keypad, which we, we would go to different screens, like um, this, this one. This one, this one, this one. These are set points, alarms. This tells us how many hours things have been running. Here's a historical chart. Tells us which pumps have run for how long, etc. This tells us the condition of our uh, SLC5. leave it on here. Now we have the capability to call this thing up from home and see what's wrong should it call us for an alarm. The chart recorder is no longer being used. We used to send our sewage to Grand Rapids, now we have our own treatment plant.
so that's disconnected.